my big man. Your mama's boy. Yep. That's mama's boy right there. <laughs> so it begins. I don't know who did this. Chicky. Hey friends, so I keep thinking I'm going to wake up in a salad mood, but it has not happened yet. Off to Wendy's yet again. I'm, it's only the second time. Um, I'm still reading Dead Wake on my phone, but I think I'm going to pick out a new book or two today. So stay tuned. I think I might vlog. We'll see. And oh my gosh, the candy cane. All right, so I finally got some ornaments on my tree last night, finally. And I tried to just put like unbreakable ones on because this is the girl's first Christmas. Um, they have not bothered the tree at all thus far, so it's crazy. And um, ironically, I broke two of my favorite ornaments. I hate tile floors. Oh, the kitchen kills me. Anyway, um, but yeah, apparently Chicky has a thing for candy canes. <laughs> so she immediately began chewing on them last night as soon as I put them on the tree. Like, okay, they did, they did de-beard Santa a bit. I had to move Santa up the tree, um, but then Chicky is into, like, not the ornaments, it's, it's the candy canes, it's the weirdest thing, and she's literally chewing on them, and you saw that I found one this morning already, just demolished, so, yeah, I wonder if Siamese cats have sweet, have, like, a sweet tooth, because Biddy Boo had the same, like, she didn't chew on the candy canes, but she liked pastries, like, Pop-Tarts and cupcakes, forget about it. She was beggar central, so. Funny, funny. Okay, I'm off off to Wendy's, and then we'll see what how, how the day unfolds with my laziness factor, because it's cold, friends. It's cold. Heidi, it's going to be 41 degrees for the high. I don't like it. Hey friends, so I have not been in the mood to vlog today, but two things just happened. Um, number one is that I am kind of wanting to um, write my goals for 2022, uh, but that requires viewing my goals for 2021 and doing that check-in on those end of the year review type video and some of my good little Voxer friends and I we were just chatting about the 2021 goals and um what did we say about them they weren't they haven't gone well um let me check the wordage it was funny okay it was ass dropped that was the terminology they came up with. So we've all ass dropped our goals for the year, um, which is a very, very accurate statement on my part. How about you? Um, sorry, sorry for the swearing. Um, not apologizing for the appearance. I mean, it's Christmas vacation and you know, you gotta be comfortable. This is coming off a two hour nap and all day in the PJs. It's 4.23 in the afternoon. We're like, what, seven minutes from sundown? But the good news is that, you know, winter solstice was yesterday, so every day is getting longer. Happy, 
happiness, happiness. Anyway, so, so that was the first thing I wanted to, you know, film this video and turn this vlog into a, this pseudo vlog into a um, 2021 goals check-in. And um, the other thing that just happened was like, close encounters of the spider kind. So, I'm very disturbed right now. Very, very disturbed. And being kind to Heidi, I am going to attach the footage after my goals check in. I will yeah, leave a warning before before it's coming. So don't watch the end of this video, Heidi, or anyone else there that is disturbed by um, eight legged beasties of the creepy crawly kind. Uh, don't watch that. Trust me. Do not, do not watch the end. <laughs> because even I am disturbed and I'm not afraid. <laughs> so there's a little more swearing. It's just that kind of video. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to go boot up my laptop and check in on my goals and you might not see my face again in this vlog. So yeah. Anyway, like, let's do this thing. I'm motivated all of a sudden. It's that two hour nap I'm thinking. And the adrenaline rush from what just happened to me. <laughs> Moo Moo has really been enjoying Dolly. So I think when I'm done, I'm gonna put oh. treats in all the things and let her dig what it out. What is this? I, why are you trying to set up my microphone? <laughs> Somebody. Oh, I got it. Oh, it was right. <laughs> Thought that um, he could get up at. 3.30 and go outside. Oh, with nice. He knows that he can't go out until 6.30, so. It was rotten. I don't know what that was about. So now I'm going to irritate him <laughs> by filming my TBR talk while he's taking his little nap. What do you think about that guy? I've been working on my bullet journal. Spoiler alert, I am moving from the Lloyd's term to the spoiler alert. There's notebook format. I didn't write my goals down in here for for books. You gotta do what you gotta do. And oh, I need yeah. the rest of my 2021 goals and plans as far as the bookish world goes. Look at my hair. And um, that was a good haircut. My TBR talk. It's like twice as long uh, I just now, figured I'd, I'd, I'd pair those up because yeah. I'm going to be talking my Cuba project that I've already uh, okay, posted so a video about that I will link below. Uh, so basically, I, I'm just reading Cuban fiction and fiction in January. I, I take them. a focus month every year. Okay. So, well, that's not an attractive pause. A focus. That's better. Um... So I finished this project, yay, but I have not filmed the video yet. These are for the book naturalist um, book club that I announced a few weeks ago. So I will link that video. Okay, so book naturalist. Um, I've finished almost all the books. I've got this month to go and I think I, one of the months that were doubled up, I didn't read both, but I read one of them. Um, we started off like on Instagram, but kind of shifted to YouTube because it just got to be too much the way the year went. But yeah, I, I'm calling this a win. So that's two wins. I'm, I'm surprised. The eighth life. Yeah, oh, so you know, I finished it. Clean slate for Doris for 2022. Three wins. I had to rewind so you could hear this. Listen, listen to what she says here. January read because you have the whole year to finish. Yeah, you do. Lingers, but the whole. I don't think this one will. It did. It did. The whole year. It did. But you did it. Awesome you did it, girl. So, yeah. Uh, I am buddy reading this with Jacqueline. From yeah, Six Jacqueline. Another project that I haven't talked about yet is. Um, 
Oh dear. I found L magazine. This one is a major fail. These author interviews. Um, okay, so this project was with Karen from Run Right Reads, and this one was like. I failed. <laughs> so I read both of these books, the Tayari Jones and the True. Um, was it Ed, Edwin Dandicat? Let's see. Edwidge Dandicat. That was January and February. They were fabulous and I luckily only bought the first three. So I have not read the third, but this was a year long project, twelve books and I've read two, so yeah, oops another new project so um, i keep oh, having these i forgot about this one that i want to read and i just never get around to um getting the books and getting going on those because other projects keep getting in the way i think so i'll do I well with this one poetry, uh, a project. let's see what she says here but i'm yeah. pretty sure i did so, well with this so i didn't want to like Burden myself with too many projects. So because, the purple is poetry. You know, One, I don't want to have like three, four, five, ten six, six seven, three, eight. Um, every month, and eight. Not get a chance to read like randomly. How many? So did I decided say? this project would be quarterly. Quarterly? Oh, I doubled it. So go me. First quarter, uh, I'm going to continue with <laughs> indie press projects. This so is the one that got ass dropped. <laughs> ah, so star. I'm not, I'm not, I'm giving myself a C on this one because the project itself kind of fizzled. It wasn't just me. Even just Korean. <laughs> so I'm continuing with that oh, for sure. They're in the other I think bullet journal. Authors for I have too many day. journals this year. Authors. That's three different judges. bullet journals. Judges for okay, day. I did the so book two prize. That, well, Jacqueline that Woodson was that um, author project that I failed. The long list Let me go find this. Okay, so if you've been watching Pastory Time, which if you have not, you're missing out tremendously. But um, according to Bert and Sean, we are normalizing filming in the bathroom. So here I am, you know, I'm a proponent of filming in front of the shower curtain. So, I mean, I've lost the natural lighting at this point because we were already at sundown when I started. So I found my bullet journal list. I did make one. I knew, I knew that I'm a list maker y'all. So I knew I had done it. I don't know why I doubted myself. So there are 10, um, 10 points here. So we're going to give ourselves a grade. Um, I'm going to give myself a grade. We collective. What is that? Uh, January focus Cuba. Let me get a pen. I need a red pen. Okay, so the Cuba Project, uh, I'm going to give myself a 9 for that, 9 out of 10, because I read all the books. I just have not filmed the final video yet. But to be quite honest, I still have time. So anyway, Book 2 Prize, I'm going to give myself a 9 for that because I completed it, but I didn't film anything for that one. Um, indie Press Project. When did I fall off that wagon? I'm just going to give myself five points for that because it went defunct anyway. Um, the Jacqueline Woodson, I only read two of those, so two points. That's, that's real bad. Book Naturalist. Um, I'm going to give myself an eight because I slacked on the filming, but I read all but one book. So that's good. Um, poetry. Can I give myself bonus points? Because I said quarterly, which is four books, but I actually read eight. So I'm going to give myself 12 points for that. That's like two bonus points. I deserve it. Um, Mid-month book bash. Um, I, I participated every month. 
some were more elaborate than others, I feel like. I feel like I did a good job. I, I might not deserve bonus points, but definitely a solid 10 there. Hall revisits. Those ended. Those ended. I don't know when they ended, but they did. I bet they ended. I, I'm just going to give myself two points. That was bad. TBR control. One less than the prior month. I gotta go check on this. Okay, at the end of November, I was at 210, and I started the year at 258. So I am down 48 books. And I only said one less than the month before, so that would be down 12 for the year. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I nailed that one to the wall, I mean, even though we still have a month to go, I'm down 48 books and I only only said I had to be down 12 and I'm not gonna haul um, 36 more books in the last month. So yeah, I did that one, that's a 10. Oh, that's a 10. Uh, and then the last one says journal. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know. Let's just call that a win because it was a hard year. Am I right? I'm right. So this, I love this though. This is in my journal, so that counts. This is my, um, the way I kept up with my reads this year. And I made it, I've done this for like three or four years now, but it's gotten progressively more elaborate each year. So this year, instead of just two colors, like the blue is nonfiction and the orange is fiction, I added a third color of purple for poetry um, because poetry to me doesn't really fit into either category and that was one of my projects. And then um, I've always put the little numbers to know how many I read each month. So all that goes on the last book of the month. And then I added symbols so I could track a few other things. So um, the little dots are translated works and the little triangles are graphic novels and the little Vs are free verse. So poetry as well, but like free verse and to me that one is either fiction or nonfiction. So, I didn't color those purple, but I put the mark for them. So indeed I read um, 10 poetry books, not just nine. So, I mean eight. So that was good. Um, I am currently at 121 books read this year. Um, 10 poetry translated would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so about ten percent translated again so that's typical for me but this is the interesting point though let's let me count how many fiction and nonfiction. okay so i read 44 fiction to 69 nonfiction this year, which is majorly flip-flopped for me. I normally read, I guess, 35 to 40% nonfiction. Um, and this year I read over 60% nonfiction. So, and some of that was the BookTube prize because I read um, mostly nonfiction for that. Uh, but, I think mostly it was my headspace. I, I was just in a different headspace this year for many different reasons. Um, so yeah, interesting. So, um, yay. Oh, final score. So I'm giving myself a 10 for the journal just because, you know, 2021 wasn't any more fabulous than 2020, am I right? <laughs> we need bonus points. We need bonus points this year. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
77. Is that right? I feel bad. 10, 20, 30, 40, 54, 59, 68. Yeah, that's a C. I made a C this year for my goals. Um, normally, I'm an AB student for that, but you know, my year was different, y'all. And you're going to find out, you know, eventually why, but um, teasers. Yeah. Okay, so there we are. I feel like this is anticlimactic, but now I get to make my goals for um, 2022. So that'll be exciting. Look forward to that, hopefully January 1st. And I won't talk about the beans this time because what was that ramble even? Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching and don't watch the end if you don't like spiders. Like. Trust me on this. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Let me in. I feel like the house is I have to document this moment. So, <sighs> I don't see that well if I don't pay attention. Can I a newspaper hat? And I just thought that was like. Can I use a kitchen knife as a weapon? A little bit something funky and dead. And I mean, it is dead, but oh my God. Okay, I just lost my appetite. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know what to do. Oh God, this is so disturbing. Ugh, shit. What happened? There's a dead spider. Oh my grapes. Oh, jeez, I don't say that word.